guys! So I am really, really, really excited. Um, today I'm going to re bleh, be reviewing the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Katana doll from DC Superhero Girls. And I'm really excited. So, first off, this box is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> It's probably one of my favorite boxes that we've seen from like Monster High, Ever After High, and DC Girls. Like this box and Cerise Hood's box. Beautiful. <laughs> so let's dive right in. So as you can see on the front, we have Katana, and she's kind of like in this. I want to say watercolored, but maybe water watercolored a little bit, like. The cherry blossoms in the background look very watercolored. I'm not sure if that's what I would call her right here. She looks so beautiful. And then she's got her name banner and the DC Girls logo down here at the bottom. And then if you turn her on the side, got more of the cherry blossom tree. And then this tree like extends over to the back, which is very cool. And then it's got more, and then she's like doing a pose, and like her sword comes to right here, and it's just so beautiful. And then on this side, it has some, I assume, Chinese at the top up here. And then, um, I am courage, I am strength, I am discipline, I am focus, I am honor, I am katana. And then we're back at the front. By the way, this box is a huge. Here is a doll next to the box. It's so big. <laughs> oh, and also here's the top, if you can see it. It says DC Super Girls and it has more of the tree on it. And then this same tree is the tree that's going through all over the box, which is really cool. And then you just open it up right here. See this? Alright, so this outer, inner box, not outer box. On the front, we have Katana, her um, shadow, I guess. Can't think of the word that I want to use, so I'm gonna go with shadow, and then you kind of see two enemies back here that might be like going after her. Mm. On the side, you have that same um, shadow of Katana, but this side of her. And then the back, you see the enemies more closely, and Katana's further away. And then we got Katana again. And then the cool thing about this box is that this slides out to reveal the doll. And it says Katana right here and then DC, DC Superhero Girls right here as well. Um, close that up and then show you on the bottom is where her stand is. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off because I am unboxing her. I thought about getting a second katana to have one in box and one out of box, but I don't, that's a lot of money <laughs> that I'm not necessarily prepared to spend. Here is her sort of out of box almost. Okay, bring her a little bit closer. So as you can see, she's holding her katana. And then she has two of these guys that I don't know their names. And then she has another little knife right here that pops out of its sheath. And then another, um, I don't know if this is like a longer katana or not. I don't really know my weaponry all that well. Ashamed to say. And then she has some throwing knives over here. And then, um, like her katana's, not stand, but like holder holster maybe not sheath well no I guess this part comes off so it's like half of the sheath and then it's the sheaths and swords holder so and then this box itself is really pretty too and then you can see more girls right here kind of fighting or something I don't know who that's supposed to be I don't think it's supposed to be anyone kind of looks like a turtle to me that's just me so I am going to go ahead and debox her and we'll be right back and I'm excited! Okay, so I'm pretty much done taking her out of the box. I just wanted to talk about this really quickly. Um, these little guys that pretty much come in all dolls, it's really standard. 
But it's one thing I really wish they wouldn't do with, um, like, nicer dolls, just because you have to, like, pull it out of their head and then you mess up their hair or run the risk of doing something else to them. And it's kind of just not really worth it when they're already strapped in so incredibly well. So, yeah, that's fun. Okay, I'm going to finish up the boxing and I will be right back again. So she is out of the box and she is absolutely stunning after getting her out of the box. I'm noticing new details about her and I'm really excited. <laughs> So first off, I wanted to start with her stand, and this is that. It's really pretty as well, and then it has the holes, and her shoes have the holes in them, so they just pop on. Um, of course, she doesn't need the stand because all of the DZ Subaru girls can stand on their own, but it is a really pretty touch. And then also the um, katana stand, I guess, also slides into the bottom here. And pop that back in. There we go. Like so. And it's just like that. And then let me put her in this thing. Where is the other hole? And there she is. So beautiful. Okay, so next. That's a bit weird. I don't like that. Okay, so. After putting her in the stand, um, the, quickly, the katana, like, this part, kind of makes it stand up a little bit taller than it should be, so like down here it's hitting the ground fine, and up here it comes up a little bit, which is kind of annoying. You don't really see it, like, shaking. But, I mean, it is what it is. So, but that's that. Alright. Let's talk with these. So, I'm still not entirely sure what this would be called. But I do know it's really pretty. <laughs> so you can see the longer sword part of it shines. And then we come down here. And it's got red and kind of like black holding areas and then oof, down at the bottom it's just got more and they hold her kind of thing and this is the same height as katana next is her like i'm not sure i don't want to call it something it'd not be that so her smaller, what looks to me like a smaller katana, but maybe like a dagger or something. Comes in a little sheath, and it comes with these, these, the um, kind of string hanging off of it, and the handle is very pretty. And then you can de-sheath it, no problem, and it is again very shiny, just like all of her other weapons have been focus <laughs> maybe here we go and just pop it back in her sheath it fits perfectly doesn't fall out it's really nice next are these things that I also know are in the Ninja Turtles but again I don't want to call it something that it's not so I'm just not gonna call it anything but these are the same shiny plastic and then the handles and these come with the little um, bands as well that you can use to hold onto her hands if needed. Next are the Rogan Stars. And it looks like there's two different types. No, they're all different. Okay, that's cool. So, let's see if I can <laughs> do this. Come on. There we go. So we have this one that's kind of, oh no. Okay, we're doing one at a time. So this one is kind of like your traditional looking throwing star. This one is a four bladed star. And 
This one is another four bladed but kind of thinner bladed star. And then this one has six. Again with the thinner blades. And I really like these. I kind of wished um, like half of them would have been in the um, silvery plastic and then half black. But it's all good. And then I guess I don't really want to take her katana out of her hands, but so this is what it looks like. It's the same shiny, and then I assume the handle looks the same, but a little bit longer as her smaller katana slash dagger. And then this is the sheath for that that I assume fits well in, and the sheath goes on the stand right here. And that just goes in and off really easy. In and off. Off and on really easily. Next, which is really, really cool, she comes with extra hands. And these are opens. The ones she has on right now are closed. Uh, but this is pretty cool. That looks kind of weird. Spinning them around like that. Okay. And that is it for all of her extra stuff. So let's get to the doll. So let us talk about her hair. So as you can see, her hair is mostly black with the red streaks in it. Um, she does have kind of box hair. She's got the little like crinklies in it. Overall, it's pretty nice. Um, and then it, it's really not all that like goopy or stiff or anything. Mostly, it's kind of stiff right here, but I do not mind. And then her mask is painted on. She's got the red dot in the middle. I love her eyebrows so much. Brown eyes. Pretty makeup. And then like there's even the um, kind of like darker skin tone looking color underneath her mask that almost gives it like a shadow effect. Which is really cool. Red lips that I'm in love with. And her armor is beautiful. So, first off, her chest plate. I can get in there. Kind of has like a worn look to it, but still very beautiful. And then she's got the shoulder pads, I guess. Not pads, but um. Yeah, obviously, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, and then she's got these two arm. They're still really beautiful. And she just has those on those arm on this side. She's got the fabric lining and then I'm not sure what's happening with the plastic. Oh, okay. So this is um part of this. Which now that I'm looking at it I can tell I thought it was like tape or something. Down to here. Got more of the very like traditional samurai looking plating and stuff. And then these are like all different layers because this is one layer, this is one layer, this chest piece is one layer. Next. And then our skirt, I assume, is going to be a whole other layer or it's like attached to the top or something. But her skirt is so beautiful. I didn't notice this when I was originally like getting it all. I thought it was just black, but you can see little like cherry blossoms on it, which is really cool. It's just like the detail in this is amazing. I cannot get over it. So then she has her gray, silvery leggings, and then ooh camera just came out, sorry. So now she has these boots that are very cool looking too. They also look very worn. And they kind of do the, um, you know they're heels, but they kind of look like they're not heels effect kind of thing, much like um, Supergirl's shoes. And they have slits down the back. And the lace 
amazing. And I mean, they just have like different scuffs on them, and it looks so cool because they're not even like they're similar, but they're different. You know, just beautiful. So that is the doll. Uh, I mean, really, I am so in love with her. She is so beautiful. Worth the forty dollars to me. Um, I did get her at the con, so I only had to pay forty dollars. I know not a lot of people are getting her on eBay, so you can get her for an okay price if you do want to try to get her and weren't able to get her at the convention. But I mean, wow, she's wow. I do really hope they do make a um, regular katana and like the next wave that they're doing with Starfire. Yes. And I'm sure we both get regular katanas in the future, but till then, she's gorgeous and I'm so happy. And I want to play with her and take pictures and all that. So I'm gonna do that. As far as other Comic Con reviews go, I do have the Monster High 2 pack of Rebecca Steam and her dad to unbox and review with you guys. So look for that in the future if you are interested. Um, if you like this video, please give me a like or subscribe or do both. That'd be really helpful. And always, and as always, feedback is appreciated. And if you guys also got this doll, tell me if there's anything I missed. Tell me how you like her, because I love her. <laughs> I'm really excited about her still, and I cannot wait to see what next year's dolls are. So, thank you for watching.